In this video, I'm gonna be doing some 50 millimeter astrophotography with the Nikon D750. just coming into winter here in Queensland, Australia, and we get the most beautiful clear nights around this time. And there's just blue skies here at the moment. Wherever you look, perfect blue skies, which means it's perfect for astrophotography. Now, what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna try and arrange a composition while it's light, while I can see everything. I'm gonna be using my PhotoPills app to help me get a frame. I'm actually gonna be doing some astrophotography with the 50 millimeter f 1.8 g lens this was a relatively inexpensive lens it only cost me something like 100 150 dollars i bought it second hand but it's been such a great little lens and it's been awesome on the d750 so what i'm going to do tonight is i'm going to come back to the spot where i finalized the type of composition i'm going to be going for and we're going to get the shot then but for now i'm just moving around with my photo pills app I'm actually firing off a few shots with the 50 millimeter during the day so I can see and get an idea of the type of frame I'm gonna be getting. But what a beautiful day. <laughs> Life just doesn't get any better than this at Queensland, Australia. So tonight it's gonna to be very interesting because I'm going for that compression type thing. When you've got the 50 millimeter lens, I'm going to be using this um, Point Cartwright Lighthouse here. And when you get that compression, you can actually make the Milky Way look far more bigger in the frame if you can just get back enough distance. So tonight I won't really know until I get here and I do a few test shots and I might just have to adjust my framing a bit. In other words, I might have to move back a bit or I could even have to move forward a bit. Yeah, see, looking at this photo pills app, I've got a feeling, especially with that 50 millimeter lens, I'm just gonna have to get back a little bit further. So that's okay, I've still got plenty of beach behind me, thank goodness. But tonight when I'm here, like I said, I'll do a few test shots, I'll just have to adjust my position. Oh wow, look at this. What's that? Paragliding off the edge. Very, very cool. Now one thing I've got to actually take into account is the fact that by the time the Milky Way gets into the spot I want it, this tide is going to be full. So I've got a feeling that the water line is going to be coming across here. So I've just got to take that to consideration because it's going to be pitch dark. And that's why it's so important to do your reccees before you're doing things like astrophotography because you can take all that type of stuff into consideration. So that's looking pretty good from here actually because I've got my bottom third of the frame which is the lighthouse and the top should be the Milky Way. Now when I was looking at my photo pills app before, the Milky Way was basically in position at about quarter past nine. So that's it for the location recce for the astrophotography. I'm gonna head back to my accommodation, chill out, I'm gonna wait till about eight o'clock tonight, come to this position and I'll see you there. All right, I am back in the same position that I was here this afternoon. I can just hear that tide coming in. I can see my lighthouse up here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly get set up, put the tripod up, chuck the D750 with the 50 millimeter on. I'll do a test shot, and then I'll ascertain where that Milky Way is gonna be. So tonight what I'm using is this uh, Manfrotto little travel tripod that I've got. It's much smaller than my normal tripod, but it's really good, um, lightweight, great for hiking and so forth. So 
thought I'd give it a run. All right, guys, the Milky Way is just getting into position now. It's coming straight up over top of that lighthouse. Now, with the D750 and the 50 millimeter lens, I've got it set to infinity focus. I've got an ISO of 1250 or 1250. Now, I'm using a F stop of 2.2 and my shutter speed is six seconds. What I've done is I've set up a timer release of five seconds. So when I hit that shutter button, I don't get any sort of camera shake. With white balance, it's really open to interpretation, but I like to use a white balance of 3900 Kelvin. I seem to find, particularly with these Nikon cameras, that gives me the best color uh, when it comes to Milky Way photography or astrophotography. Let's get that shot and we'll see how it looks. Five second timer release. Six seconds. And there's our shot. Well, there you go, guys. That is the good old D750 with a 50 millimeter F1.8 lens on there. It's a hundred buck lens. <laughs> and I'm just amazed at the sharpness and how amazing that shot turned out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.